I'm joined now by Marilyn Minus, and she is one of the Symposium FFF organizers. Thanks for joining Thank me. Thank you. Um, I know that you're one of the organizers of the Symposium, and it's titled Educating and Mentoring Young Materials Scientists for Career Development. Mm -hmm. um, so give us an overview of the Symposium. Well, what we're trying to do with the Symposium is we're wanting to target a few audiences. The first one is the young students and postdocs that haven't decided which career they want or they're interested in academic careers. And the other one is those in the early careers or early stages or those just starting out. And so what our, our symposium is broken up into three subcategories and what we're trying to do is talk about mentoring, we're talking about uh, education of material science students, as well as innovative educational tools for the classroom. So what we're trying to do is introduce those who are interested in this kind of career to what it is and the complexity of it and what mm -hmm. they need, as well as those in the early career, some additional tools so they can be more effective. Um, we're also complementing it with a tutorial on safety in the academic lab and what that's supposed to do is give everyone an, 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 just more tools about how to conduct a good lab, uh, which is really great for those starting out to know about as well as those in their careers to basically have a better lab environment. I know obviously your symposium covers a wide range of topics, mm -hmm. but it sounds like one of the key things is honing in on mentoring. Can yep. you talk about that? Well, mentoring is really important because this is a very complex job. The academic setting is, involves teaching, research, education, outreach, uh, so many different things, getting funding, communicating your science. And for someone starting out in that, it can be overwhelming. And what we want them to understand is their need for mentoring as well as those who are in mentoring positions. Mm -hmm. They can provide best practices of what that looks like. And those in their early careers also, you know, sometimes we can sort of get into a bubble and do our own thing and we need to remember that that mentoring is really important. And I also imagine that there's an importance in uh, training scientists just to be able to explain their work to the yeah. general public, having that translate to the outside. Exactly. Um, we are really good at communicating our science to each other, but we're all scientists, so we understand that language. What we need is tools to communicate to the general public, because these are the people, this is the society that we're trying to impact with our research. Um, the policymakers, those out there, they don't speak scientific language sometimes, so we're trying to help scientists to realize that communicating at all levels is very effective, not only for our research and to show how important it is, but for the future scientists who are coming up who may get interest in it, as well as funding opportunities that will come as a result. Yeah, what do you hope the young uh, researcher will walk away with at the end of the symposium? I hope that young researchers will get a sense of what is this, what is this complex academic position all about. And I really hope that it will help them to make decisions about whether they want to you know, engage on such a path or you know, whether they don't want to. And I also hope that it helps a lot of the early faculty in their early careers to get some new tools so they can be more effective in their research. All right, Marilyn Minas, thank you very much. Thank you. Thanks.